Thanks, everybody. Um, I'm the guy who created this Ansible thing. So how many people are in like IT or push code to production or manage code in production? All right, good bunch of you people. Uh, anybody, any Ansible users out there? All right, that's awesome. For those of you who are not, this is a generic talk anyway. Um, so a lot of times I, I wonder, like, what is my purpose in life, right? So I am writing computer software that in some extent creates more problems for people writing computer software. And I think a lot of us do this. So uh, what I, I kind of really kind of realized is that um, a lot of things we do are not unique and interesting uh, when we're pushing code out of production. Everybody's doing the same thing. Uh, how many people are worrying about EC2 load balancing out there? It's, it's phenomenal, and everybody's kind of been doing the same stuff. Um, and the result of those cycles are that we're not inventing new things. So I think a lot of what I want to do is enable people not to just have free, more free time for beer, but to have more free time for their own projects and their own ideas and to do new and interesting things. Um, so like I said, your apps are interesting. I want to see more people creating new apps. So I want to see new people trying out new key value stores or uh, you know, maybe people are trying out uh, new ways to store their log data or what are all these things. But one thing that they shouldn't be doing is uh, doing the same manual steps all over and over again or, or figuring out how to solve the problems that everybody's been solving in IT. Uh, we should work together and a lot of my career has been like, how do we get sysadmins and developers together to share and, and, and cheat off each other basically. So um, like I said, we spend millions of hours each year doing the same things, the exact same things and because things aren't open uh, or we're not sharing or people have just decided that I'm gonna go do my own thing, my own little not invented here solution, um, we waste a lot of time. So again, how do we fix that? Well, we can collaborate on what's in common so, like, and understand that the boring parts are the things we're all gonna use. So I think many projects here today, you saw a lot of talks on Docker. Ansible has modules for Docker, but you don't have to use it. Um, in some cases, it's a good thing. Uh, in some cases, it might not be good for you, but no matter what you do, you need some sort of way to automate your tools. It doesn't have to be our stuff. Uh, but I also believe that automation and writing all this stuff shouldn't be your day job either, right? If we build tools and somebody has to use the tools we create every single day for eight hours a day, uh, what we've done is we've enslaved somebody, right? So uh, and basically the goal of automation, whether that's test automation or uh, IT automation in general, is to do things less so that we can do other new things and keep doing the new and interesting. Uh, again, saving time for planning, experimentation, research, those things we do care about. I realize I'm talking into two microphones at once. This is kind of awesome. I'm going to keep doing it. Um, so one of those strategies is release early, release often, right? So nobody knows what DevOps is. I will not tell you what it is because no one absolutely has any idea. Um, but one of those things is getting in the habit of rolling out your software often so that you're not surprised and that you can just press one button and have things go. Um, one of the other good ways to, to spend less time on, on things that go wrong is building in a culture of testing. Um, continuous integration tools like Jenkins, you may use something else, it doesn't matter. Awesome idea, have a build system, run your unit test in the build system every single time, have an environment that mirrors production, that you can basically deploy into your production your simulation environment every single time a code change is made and see what's gonna go wrong. Um, Build up a culture of automated testing. So I think this is the one thing that so few people get right. But uh, build your code so that it has good testable APIs. Write programs to test your code. Don't manually test it. Get with your QA teams, and I, I'm sure they'll love, it, love you for it. Uh, you know, look into things like Selenium for automated testing. Uh, know that the behavior of your code based on your, your stage environment and your programs when it deploys, what's gonna happen? Um, and that helps you know what's gonna happen, and also in production, use lots of monitoring software. Um, teach your IT processes to self-destruct. I have no idea what this slide actually means. No, I'm not. <laughs> um, no, what it is, is it's basically about knowing that when things fail, uh, knowing what to do with those systems. So uh, if you're doing like a rolling update across your infrastructure, I've got 500 machines, and I update 50 of them, and, and 17 of those machines fail, it's a good time to stop the update before you, you update the rest of the infrastructure because you're gonna make more bad things happen. Um, so those kind of tools, uh, immutable systems, very popular. Uh, between you know, Amazon and, and you know, Rackspace and tools like Packer and Aminator and uh, tools like Docker, those are very popular ways to get repeatable infrastructure. You're still gonna need software to kind of help you roll out and do upgrades and uh, all that kind of good stuff. 
uh, get into continuous deployment, right? So go to your local DevOps group and uh, understand what that means. Like, you don't necessarily have to do it, but there's some really, really good ideas to research there. Um, and share tools and cheat. So I think this is the big thing for us. It's why we make Ansible. Um, get all the sysadmins of the world to go together to build common tooling, all the developers that are building common tooling, uh, to make something that we can all use and share and take from job to job and help other people with, be able to have the same language describing your infrastructure. Um, we also have a site called Ansible Galaxy. So they basically, you, if somebody writes a recipe for, say, deploying uh, like the Elk stack, for instance, uh, wake up the Elasticsearch people in the room. Um, the, uh, for instance, you can find a role for that on Galaxy, and you never had to learn how to set this up. And so we can cheat and share content with each other, even if we work for like, different competing companies. So um, like I said, I think we want your infrastructure to be boring because we want people to have more time to do other things. And uh, check out Ansible, and uh, next up. <laughs>